Okay, we're here at Ridgeways in Hong Kong with the current leader in the nine ball challenge, Earl Strickland. Earl, why don't you tell us uh, what you feel about the uh, length of the match tonight and how you've trained for this? Well, it's a race to 50 tonight, and I have a seven game lead, uh, but that's really nothing with a guy like Efren. Uh, I'll have to keep up the same pace that I've played all along, and uh, that'll be the key to winning this match. If I don't, uh, I don't want it to be a close match, but usually if it's close, Efren wins. And I don't know. I really don't care. Well, your break has really been doing uh, tremendous things for you here to give you the lead in this match. Uh, I wish you all the best of luck. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm with Mr. Bob Moore, the gentleman who is responsible for this immensely successful match between Efren Reyes of the Philippines and Earl Strickland of the United States. Congratulations, Bob, on a successful match. Thank you very much. All right. Now, uh, people would uh, really like to know uh, what, what uh, brought you to conceptualize this uh, particular contest. Well, it was a spur of the moment thing. I was speaking with uh, Earl on the telephone, actually, just, um, just more than one week ago. And... Uh, he was expounding um, over by voice how good he was at the game, and um, basically I, uh, I asked him to prove it, and that's exactly what he's done. And um, from what we've seen so far of the competition, uh, he's left no doubt in my mind that he really does have the ability that he talks about. Now, uh, with this uh, particular success, would there be a possibility that we'll have a, a, another tournament of this kind? Uh, given the success of this one and the, uh, the, 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 the high quality of play that we have all seen, uh, that's a yes. Now, um, as far as this uh, contest is concerned, uh, any predictions on your end? My prediction is Strickland is that Strickland will win. He looks uh, stronger. He looks. Uh, he has been the better player so far. However, uh, I say that with some caution. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a race to 50 minimum, uh, minimum 50 racks, and I think a maximum of 57 racks must be played tonight. That's going to be a test of uh, mental ability and as well as physical ability to, uh, to, to, to keep one's focus for that period of time. And I do actually believe in my mind that uh, Earl Shukran has displayed those qualities so far. Um, I guard those once again with caution. Uh, Efren Reyes is a magnificent player and uh, I'm looking forward to it. You know, uh, we have talked to uh, some of the uh, habitués of uh, Ridge Race, and they speak very well of the place. Uh, you think uh, we'll have more people uh, interested in pool? I hope very much so. Well, thank you very much, Bob, and more success to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, with Efren Reyes of the Philippines, uh, definitely one of the best uh, players in pool in the world today. But in this particular tournament, uh, Efren is trailing Errol Strickland by seven games. After 133 games, Strickland is at 70, while Efren is at 63. This is the last night of the tournament. Efren, how do you feel uh, tonight? I think I feel good tonight. I think I'm going to be here tonight. Okay, what is your strategy uh, for tonight? You're down by seven. Well, I'm going to try my best and I will try to lose him uh, his concentrate. Okay, so that's the strategy for the evening. Yeah. Good luck to you, Efren. Uh, thank you. Tagalog naman, Tagalog. Mga kaibigan, narito po ang ating kababayan, yung ating pong ikinararangal na manlalaro sa larangan ng uh, billiards at pool, wala pong iba kundi si Efren Bata Reyes. Sa kasalukuyan po, ay eh, uh, nangunguna yung kalaban niyang si Earl Strickland ng Amerika. Pero ito si Efren uh, Bata Reyes, eh, medyo may kumpiyansa pa rin uh, sa palagay ko. Efren, sa palagay mo dito sa gabi ito, ano mangyayari? Uh, palagay ko ngayon, uh, magkakaroon, pa, magkakaroon ako ng chance ngayon dahil siyempre nakita ko na rin ang break ngayon. Eh. Kasi, kasi kapon, eh, wawala yung mga break ko eh. Nalugi ako sa mga break sa kanila, kaya nakalamang siya sa akin ng konti. Pero malaki papagasa para matalunin ko siya. Ano ba naging problema kung bakit na nawawala yung uh, break mo? Hindi tayo nagkakaroon ng magandang uh, resulta sa break? Uh, kasi nung una, kahit tanong gawin, palipat-lipat nga ako ng bola yung mano para bumreak ako kung saan may mahulog. Eh. Wala, pero kanina, pinagpraktisan ko yung mga break. Tiningnan ko kung saan ang dapat merong mahulog. Ang lamang niya sa'yo, pitong uh, games, uh, mahirap ba ang bullying yun? Hindi naman. Sig ang haba ng laban na namin, ng race to 50 namin, eh, madali lang abulin yun. Eh. So ano ngayon ang uh, plano mo dito sa larong ito? Uh, wala nang ibang uh, pag-asa dito? Huling gabi na ito? Well, gagawin ko ang aking magagawa rito. Eh, Siyempre, eh. at saka alisin ko yung concentrate niya rito. 
Ah, ganoon. Eh, alam mo, nakita natin, minsan uh, umiinit ang ulo niyan. Eh, madali bang painitin niya? Oh, madali. Iyakin niya ito eh, pa. <laughs> Okay, so good luck sa'yo, Efren, at uh, sana pagkatapos ng uh, gabing ito, eh, iyon na ang uh, ikang uh, pagkakapanalo rito. Oh, sana nga, maraming salamat po. Magbigay uh, ka muna ng uh, ilang uh, kataga para sa ating mga kababayan, medyo matagal-tagal ka na hindi mo uwi. Uh, magandang gabi sa inyo lahat, oh. sana ay masiyang kayo sa panonood namin dito sa larong ito. Okay, salamat mga kaibigan, yan po si Efren Bata Reyes. Mga kaibigan, katabi ko po naman ngayon ng uh, taong siyang umaalala at namamahala kay uh, Efren Bata Reyes, ang kanyang manager at uh, matalik na kaibigan. Walang iba kundi si Rolly Vicente. Rolly, kumusta? Ito, mabuti naman. Alam mo, uh, sa pagkakataong ito, eh, nalalamangan ng uh, bata natin si Efren Reyes ng uh, pitong game dito sa Race to 120. Actually, ito eh. Uh, pitong game, uh, sabi sa akin ni uh, Efren, madali lang daw habulin yan. Eh. Ano sa palagay mo? Lagi ko madali dahil lang ang distansya nito, 50 games ito eh. So maraming pwede pang mangyari dito. Sa napanood mo nitong uh, nakaraang dalawang gabi, ano uh, sa palagay mo ang uh, nangyayari kung bakit nangunguna itong si Earl at nagkahabol naman si Efren? Tama, nakikita ko itong mga dalawang gabi. No? Nakikita ko sa unang-una sa break. Dahil si Efren, kung, kung panonorin mo yung laro, no? Baling kay Earl, kay Earl oh, nakaka-85% siya after the break, filming karatang bola, benta na. Amantala si Efren, pagka nakakapasok ng bola, wala naman siyang mga benta, kundi puro mabanda siya. Kaya palagi ko yun ang naging depression ng laro nito. Alam mo, uh, alam natin na uh, kayong dalawa ni uh, Efren ang siya nagpaplano ng strategy ninyo, uh, bawat uh, laro. Ano naman ang napag-usapan ninyo ni Efren ngayong gabi? Well, sabi ko sa kanya, malayo pa yan, no? pitong game, uh, maraming pwedeng mangyari. So sabi ko sa kanya na ito sa mga break, break ang pag-aaral namin kung pa paano ipupuyas yung bola. Kaya magkalinang hapon, nandito na kami para maging sayo para, para dun sa break na yun. Ano naman ang resulta ng uh, ensayo? Uh, mas maayos naman ba ang uh, break ni uh, Efren? Lagi ko maayos dahil medyo ano, maganda mga binibreak na kanina yun. Okay, so uh, maraming salamat sa iyo, Rolly. At uh, sana pagkatapos nito, eh, lahat tayo naghahalakhakan sa tuwa. Sana naman. <laughs> Marami salamat. O baka gusto mong batiin naman yung ating mga kaibigan at mga kamag-anak mo sa Pilipinas na matagal na rin hindi ka nakikita. At binabati ko nga pala mga kaibigan ko, mga kamag-anak ko na, na nasa Pilipinas. Huwag uh, kayong mag-alala, gagawin namin lahat ng mga kaya namin, lalo sa mga kababayan natin, para magbigay ng karangalan sa bayan. Okay, yan po si Rolly Vicente, mga kaibigan. Ladies and gentlemen, with me right now is Rolly Vicente, the manager of Efren Reyes, one of the protagonists of this uh, $100,000 challenge winner-take-all called Color of Money. Now, uh, uh, Rolly, uh, Efren is uh, behind by seven games. Uh, do you see any difficulty in uh, Efren getting back into the game? I think uh, uh, it's not really difficult. It depends how, uh, how uh, he play right tonight and uh, how he break. If he, if he can break real good, I think uh, we get a better chance to win this event. Well, I know that uh, you and Efren are very good friends and uh, you're always uh, by his side. Now, uh, how does uh, Efren uh, feel going into this game? Uh, I, I, I feel that uh, he's still going to win this uh, game. So he's very confident about that? Yeah, yeah, that's what he told me earlier. Okay, thank you very much, Rolly, and uh, we'll see how this tournament goes, ladies and gentlemen. Everhelm. The player's performance yesterday was once again tremendous. Could we please show our appreciation with an inspired bit of applause? <laughs> Tonight, Mr. Strickland must win 50 games before Mr. Reyes wins 57 games. The winner will be the player that arrives at a total 120 games first. There will be two 30-minute intermissions, one near 9.30 and the other at midnight. Due to the fact that we have such an intimate setting, please give both of these champions respect with regards to physical movement, mobile phones, and applause for good shots and games. Also, I would appreciate everyone staying through the award ceremony. Yesterday, this player made the most of many difficult opportunities. Please help me welcome Efren Reyes. The next player won 35 games yesterday 
and 16 of those games he won without his opponent shooting. The Million Dollar Man, Earl Strickland. <laughs>